Hi, my name is Tim Johnson. The secret to having it all is knowing that you already do. And this video is of a short one about change, about changing your world and perhaps changing the world. These days we're all seeking something. We're seeking approval, we're seeking acceptance, we're seeking material things such as money, clothes, property, the latest phone, image. All these things seem at times unattainable. We're bombarded with images on the internet, on our phones, tablets, computers of war, of terrorism, of hate, of envy, and of people and images that we aspire to be. We're constantly seeking meaning in our lives. What is the meaning of life? Well, I discovered on my road to change, which really started about three and a half years ago, that the meaning to life is that we create our own meaning. It's a blank canvas. And what we put in is what we create. That is the meaning of our life. And as Gandhi once said, be the change you want to see in the world. And like personal change, it requires action. I mean, it's all very well like going through the motions and posting positive memes on Facebook or other social media sites. But are you actually living that positivity? Are you living the message that you're putting across? Because it's very easy to be complacent and not do that. And perhaps not think that you can make a difference. A very wise man once said, the future is built on old men planting trees under whose shade they do not plan to sit. And that's how you change the world. It's about actions. Actions speak louder than words. It's like personal change requires action. It requires consistency. It requires self-discipline. And this meaning that you're looking for in your life and this feeling inside comes from making change to the world, making positive change to the world. How can I do that? You might ask yourself. Well, like smiling at someone might not change the world, but it might change their world. And this is how we begin with small acts of kindness, with small acts of love. I mean, when we see images like we've been bombarded with over Easter of the atrocity that happened in Sri Lanka, we wonder about the future of humanity. But as Martin Luther King once said, those who love peace must learn to organise as efficiently as those who love war. And it's about getting that message across. And it's the same whether it's personal change or wanting to change the world or somebody's world. It's about action. It's all very well talking about climate change, but are you walking past litter when you could just pick it up and put it in the bin? You may not think that small act would make any difference, but if someone sees you doing it, it might trigger them to do it. The same with recycling, etc., etc. The same with not eating meat for two or three days a week. It's all very well moaning about things and saying how bad things are, but are you doing anything that is going to make a difference, however small you think it may be? It's how things get done. It creates a ripple which travels out wider and wider and wider until before you know it, you are changing the world, not only with your positivity, but with your service, with your actual getting out and helping people, however that may be. 
It's about living the message that you're trying to put across. It's about living the change that you're trying to make yourself. It's all very well trying to change yourself, but how committed are you to that? How is your self-discipline? It's Rumi once said, you know, what you seek is seeking you. And that's very true. And we've got a great opportunity these days. I mean, it's all very well to moan about um, phones and social media and stuff. But 80% of people look at their phones before they brush their teeth in the morning. That's a massive opportunity to get a message across, if you like. But it is really important to live that message. I mean, all our worlds, all our self-worth is built on a perception as a, of a perception of a perception of a perception created by images that we see. It's like I said in the last video, I'm not who I think I am. I'm not who you think I am. I am what you think I think I am. A perception of a perception of a perception. So it's important to be real and live the message you're trying to put across and live the change you're trying to make in your own life. It's all very well to pay lip service to stuff and stuff that's going on in the world. But are you actually doing anything about it? In whatever small way you can, I mean like, whatever you can do, whatever small act of kindness, whatever small act of love, whatever small act of service will make a difference. So before you put the next message on social media, of positivity the next meme you put up just think are you actually living that message is it gonna make a difference and about complaining complaining won't change anything complaining today about yesterday won't make tomorrow any better it's as simple as that Complaining does nothing. Actions speak louder than words. And in light of the current environment and, and, and that we're in, those of us who want to spread love and kindness and peace have an opportunity greater than ever to do it today. And we must grasp that opportunity and listen to what Martin Luther King said and organise better than those giant corporations and capitalists who want to spread greed and hate and envy and war and make money and power we need to spread a message of peace and love which will ripple across by our actions not just by our words thank you for listening carpe diem much love to you all seize the day today please subscribe please like please share the videos if you think they'll help anybody at all much love to you thank you bye bye